Hello, my name is Michael Murdoch, and I just wanted to share my process uh, when I'm illustrating on the iPad Pro using Procreate. This is sped up um, altogether. This illustration took about 30 minutes, so this one is obviously sped up. I'm starting with a quick sketch here, and I'm using the uh, technical pencil in Procreate. This is a uh, one of the creatures in the Kickstarter book that I have written and illustrated. So I started with the uh, overall shape of it and uh, getting into a little bit finer details here. Still using the technical pencil. The uh, first illustration that I had was a top down, I did a top down view of this creature. So I wanted to show a little bit more, so I did a more of a front view. If you're unfamiliar with my book, it's uh, on Kickstarter. It is a, uh, it's like a field guide of different creatures. It's actually the second book in a series. The first one is more of a field guide. This one is still like a field guide, but it has more of a narrative to it. So and it's, a, it's an all ages book, really. So if you like space stuff, this takes place in the uh, retro futuristic 1930s. And it was an excuse to draw a bunch of robots because I like to draw robots. So um, after I do the, after I complete the, the rough sketch with this pencil, I'm going to use the same pencil and uh, do a cleaner sketch on a new layer.
Okay, so I have the queen layer done, and now I'm going to add another layer underneath that layer and start painting it. Uh, this is, I believe, the round brush is what it's called, the Procreate. And what I'm doing is just, it's, the color is orange, um, the main, main color of the creature is orange, so I'm coloring the entire creature orange. And uh, it's, it's gonna be a rough painting, kind of like a field guide or a journal, you know, when you're out, out and about. Uh, they usually use like watercolors or gouache, and so I'm, I'm trying to emulate that style with uh, these digital tools. So I'm uh, cleaning up the edges a little bit, and again, it's it's still kind of rough, but uh, I still want to get it kind of clean. So I'll put in the main color, and then I'll start going over it here with, uh, I'll start adding highlights and, uh, and shadows and different you know, variations of the color so it doesn't look as flat. That's where you are. Here's some of the shadows. The you know, like a deeper orange. That's where you are. That's where you are. And what I have is I, I have a layer mask on and Procreate um, and other programs, but uh, this is, allows me to just paint where um, I've already painted. So I'm, I'm painting over the orange, and so I can't go out of the lines with this layer mask turned on. So I'm adding some highlights here, um, and then I'm going to add uh, some more of the uh, other colors. I kind of like, I like the complementary color on this one, so I kind of do a blue-gray with the orange. And uh, then I'm going to add some of the uh, highlights and the shadows to this as well. Just to try and make it pop a little more off the canvas. And we add some of the blue shadows into the orange as well to try and tie those together. And the tools on the left hand side allows me to change. The top tool is uh, allows me to change the size of the brush, so you'll see me going over that every now and then. The bottom one's the opacity, but I don't really use that one as much because uh, the pencil has opacity uh, based on pressure, so I don't really use that one as much. more little highlights to make a pop. Some just little tiny, tiny details. I think it's these little tiny details that help it uh, sometimes. A little less flat. And like I said, altogether this took me about 27 minutes from start to finish from uh, at least based on the time code on the videos 